take a deep breath, close your eyes, calm down, cool your horses, pipe down. Take a few more deep breaths as you relax the body and surrender the mind to this field of infinite potential that is that which inundates you all the time. Call it what you will. Infinite it is. And just be aware of the body relaxing more and more, more and more deeply, surrendering to gravity. Relax your face too, the muscles in your face. And allow the body to rest as it is. Don't alter it, don't change it. Let it be as comfortable as it can be. Let it rest. And take that step back again into awareness. Noticing not so much what you are seeing, but where you are seeing from. Notice that space that is conscious and aware. as you're resting in this awareness. Letting the body totally be as it is. Inserting no argument into your reality with anything that you perceive at this time. Resting as awareness with no argument of what is. Letting everything be as it wants to be and move through your consciousness. This gives you freedom then. This allows you flexibility of thought, flexibility of mind, flexibility of choice. So open up, open your mind to that which is greater than the bubble you've assumed yourself to live inside of. 
nor does that which has none of the limitations you believe exist here and now. Ask yourself, what is beyond my personal bubble of the self that I assume myself to be and the world that it creates on a day-to-day -day basis? What is beyond the horizon of what I presently allow myself to be aware of? What lies beyond that event horizon of my reality? What will I see? What will I know? What will I become when I pass the threshold of these fictitious borders that I have built up around my consciousness? What happens if I break through these walls by simply realizing they were never solid to begin with? What if I open up by simply realizing that the limitations I've placed upon myself aren't real? What will I see in this field of infinite potential? What will I discover about myself, about my truth, about my journey here? Why I came to this illusion of the physical reality. What is the purpose of my existence here? Without seeking for any answers to that question, but simply enjoying the question itself. What is my purpose for being here? Why this life? Why this life? with a curiosity to discover If bliss is my natural state, then how am I actively unawakening myself? Instead of trying to get to the ecstatic opening to more of existence, I can realize that this is my natural condition. And instead, all I need to do is gain greater awareness of how I am actively unblissing myself, pretending to be disconnected from source, pretending to be disconnected from all that there is, pretending, pretending, pretending that there's walls and limitations, that I cannot do this and that I should not do that that I cannot become this way and that I should not become that way. What if bliss is your natural state and no permission from the outside is required for you to realize that you've never been disconnected to begin with? That all disconnect, all forms of contraction 
are founded on illusion. The illusion of thinking, the illusion of thought, thought becoming arrogant, then thinking it knows better than all of creation together. And then it creates a bubble of arrogance, a bubble of seeming disconnect. When the brain starts thinking it rules the universe, It becomes a typical human being. Good thing you are more ambitious than that. Good thing you are more desirous of bliss, of your true nature, of your true essence. Good thing you crave to know the connection that can never fail. that connection that can never fail. Notice the connection that never leaves you, that allows you to even think, consider, pay attention. That which allows you to be and think and move and change your consciousness from one object to another. is the essence that you can never leave, even when you're distracting yourself. What part of you has never known disconnect? Go to that recognition, place your consciousness onto that intuition and you will find a greater brightness, a greater radiance of being. You will find the bliss that is your natural state. So relax all expectation. Surrender all arrogant forms of thinking the most arrogant of all being that limitation is real. When you are so obviously swimming in an ocean of infinite potential that's giving you constant permission to expand your horizon, the only limitation is the one you place upon your consciousness using arrogant forms of thought self-righteous ways of thinking. Well, this most certainly is impossible. I can most definitely not become this. This is way out of reach. I know this for sure. And the universe goes, okay. Have it your way. And so you will have it your way, every step of your way. It shall appear as you say it is. Soap up your bubble. Surrender your arrogance and know that you don't know the limits of your capacity for being or doing. 
connect to the bliss that is ever here. Is your heart open to that which is already safe? If so, good morning. <laughs> if not, good morning as well. Mm -hmm. 